I do believe that many of you have heard this term smart contract auditor, security expert on the blockchains, solidity smart contract tester or testing. You have heard all of these terms, but have you ever thought that what it takes to become a solidity smart contract auditor? What are the tools and technology you have to learn and how you have to learn? What are the things you have to learn first? What are the proper hierarchy which you have to follow if you want to test any contract? So there is a proper structure which you have to follow an auditor and a smart contract developer in the real world project because what happened when you will write the smart contract it's not always necessary that you going to test the smart contract there will be someone some third party or some third person who will audit your contract so as a smart contract developer you have to follow the proper architecture of writing the smart contract you can't build the smart contract just like this because you have to provide all the information which your auditor need to audit the contract and that's what we're going to find out in this video that what are the tools and technology you have to learn if you really want to become a smart contract auditor and if you really want to see yourself in the smart contract security field so that's what we're going to discuss in this video and the reason why i'm making this video because very soon i'm going to create a new course in that we're going to focus only to the smart contract security so we'll learn about all the tools which exist and every single smart contract auditor or every single smart contract developer they use when they build a smart contract in the real world project and when you exactly going to work in the industry you have to utilize the tools you have to follow the structure so that's what we're going to discuss in this video i hope you will find this video informative and very soon the video will start coming on this entire course where we'll focus on the security section before i take you to those tools and software for testing the contract there are a couple of things which you have to know you have to know the hierarchy which you have to follow as a smart contract developer as a smart contract auditor so the very first thing we have in the list is hard at security so hard at security provide the complete guidance which you follow for writing the smart contract and testing the smart contract so all of you know that hard at is a javascript framework which allow you to test the contract at the time of development so you can write the contract and you can easily able to test right in the development mode it comes with powerful packages like chai library mocha library so it's inbuilt in the hard at framework you can utilize it and you can test it and they have also given a complete guidance that how you have to secure the smart contract so you have to follow the hard at security guide which they have highlighted don't need to worry about that we'll go into details about that hard at security guide in the course okay i already made a tutorial on hard at that how you can test the smart contract so i'll link the i button on the description so you guys can follow that so that's the first check you have to do you have to use all the power of hard at all the tool and testing guidance which they provide and you have to test the contract so that's the first thing the second thing comes into the picture that auditor so you are writing a smart contract and someone else going to audit the contract so that's how exactly happen in the industry so you will write the smart contract and some third party some third organization or some third person is going to review the contract so you have to know that how you have to write the smart contract and that's your role as a smart contract developer you can't write the code just like this you have to know that what structure you have to follow what variables you have to follow you have to keep all the things in mind that what kind of hack is possible in the contract okay so there is a proper guidance which you have to follow and you have to provide all the details about the contract to the auditor so they can easily able to understand the code and they can review the code even in deeper level there are a couple of things which you have to do in the smart contract at the time of development the first one is that you have to add a lot of comments no matter what variable you have taken if you have state declare any state variable you have to define that what type of state variable it is it's a constant variable or immutable variables or what kind of variable it is and why you have defined that so that's the thing you have to mention in every single variable and all the scopes all the additional data they can include so those all things you have to include so add comment in every single line which you add in the smart contract the second things you have to mention that after writing the entire smart contract you have to make a small documentation so in that you have to explain all the function you have defined what are the variables you have taken and then you have to highlight all the prime things all the mutable data where the money is transferring so those are the things you have to keep it separate so where you are storing the data for the user that's the one thing is going to be the another side and where you exactly transfer the fund that's going to be into different section so that's how you have to differentiate and you have to make a complete documentation of that after giving all those comment you have to give you have to build the documentation in the third section you have to test the contract which you have written in that you have to highlight that what are the vulnerability you have encountered 
where you have faced the error and what kind of solution you have came with because this one is a very important part and as you're going to test the contract in the harder development environment so when you will test definitely you will encounter some sort of error so you have to highlight that error as well why you have got the error and what solution you have came with so that will give also a very good idea to the auditor to just look at the code okay these are the one possibility of getting into trouble okay so that's the third point the fourth point we have that you have to be ready to talk with your auditor because sometimes they will get confused they won't understand that what you have written how you have calling this function so you have to spend plenty of time with the auditor to have to explain that why you have written the contract and that's what happened exactly you will spend time and you will get in touch with the auditor and you will explain every single thing after writing all the smart contract so that's the fourth thing and that's how you can provide maximum information about the smart contract which you have written and your auditor will understand okay there is a lot of things and you have provided all the complete guidance like you have written the comments in the in the function in the line in the variables then you have tested the contract and you have explained that what are the vulnerabilities you have found and how you have tackled that and the third one is that you have also provided the complete documentation complete summary of the contract and you are also ready for giving a personal guidance at the time of auditing if he needs your help so that's how you can help and these things goes hand in hand the third point we have in the list is process what is the actual process for auditing the smart contract and testing the smart contract as an auditor as a security expert so the contract you have got from your smart contract developer he has already done a couple of previous tests he has already provided you all the details about the contract all the data he has written in the contract now it's your work to take those knowledge and you have to test and audit the contract so there is a proper process for testing the contract so the first one we have is that you have to run your own test so whatever test he has done about the smart contract and whatever data he or she has provided you you have to rerun the test you have to use the same javascript framework hard framework and you have to run the test once you do that you find that everything is okay then you have to read the docs whatever data whatever variables whatever function he has defined and whatever version the smart contract is written and whatever version is well optimized for the blockchains you have to understand that and you have to find out all the loops all the pros and cons we have in the old version and the new versions you have to read the docs the ultimate motive is that you have to read the docs after running the test then you have to read the docs after reading the docs and testing the contract now comes to the third point that you have to use the existing tools which allow you to test the contract so there are a couple of popular tools which you can utilize it so we have slitter it's written in python which can utilize it it's a simple extension which you can install in your visual code studio and you can check the smart contract the vulnerability it will highlight everything so you have to run all of these tools so we have slitter we have static we have linter we have static analysis so don't need to worry about that definitely we're going to have an in-depth tutorial on each of the security tools that how you can test your contract and how you can spot the vulnerability whether the vulnerability is there or not so that's the third point that you have to utilize all the tools the fourth point we have in the list that you have to run the manual analysis so you have already done the testing using the hard hat and all the data you have got from the smart contract developer you have run all the tests then you have read the docs then you have also used the softwares the tools for testing the contract now you have to manually observe and understand the entire smart contract and you have to rewrite the smart contract to come up with the better smart contract structure analyze and rewrite whatever variables he or she has written and you have to also check that what cost a contract is getting paid at the time of deployment so what's the cost of the contract deployment so that's the thing you have to understand so manual analysis you have to do now in the fifth section comes the slow tool analysis so the tool we have discussed in the third section like slitter or we have static analysis so these are the fast analysis tool but we have to run the slow analysis tool in that you will understand you will find out that what data is getting passed out because it will slowly run the entire smart contract and you can easily able to see the entire data is flowing in the contract so that's the slow tools you have to analyze and the tools we have is that minto code symbolic execution mitex so the name is quite complex don't need to worry about that i i came to know like two months ago about these tools so i was quite trying to figure out that how i can utilize it so definitely we're going to have a detailed discussion about this tool that how you can test the contract using all of these tools now the sixth point we have that you have to discuss about the smart contract to the other auditors because sometimes what happened that you have built a smart contract you have audited the smart contract and maybe sometimes we're not able to find out the vulnerability which is right there and we can't see that so sometimes it's always better that you have to find someone other on uh, other auditor who can analyze the code from you 
okay so that's the thing you have to do at the six point now after doing all of these six steps at the end you have to write the complete report about the smart contract so you have to explain that how you have tested the smart contract what are the vulnerability you have found at the time of giving the smart contract so the smart contract developer gave you the contract and he explained everything so what additional bugs you have found and what extra test you have done that's all you have to explain and why you have to justify every single variable which out there that why you have used and why it's secure so you have to explain everything into a complete report and that's how you can become a smart contract auditor so there's a lot of things goes into the entire smart contract auditing you can't do it in just one day or in a week or in a two week it will take time you have to give the entire focus you have to understand every single thing sometimes you have to consult with not one auditor you have to find out multiple auditors to concern and check the code because ultimately it's going to be deployed on the blockchains and you don't want that some bad happen because no program is safe right now no program is safe every single program every single contract is hackable it's all about that how deep a level of understanding you have about the programming language about the contract about the ebm so once you understand somehow you can easily able to come up with a solution to manipulate that so if you go back into the history at the time of like 10 a decades ago or two decades ago we had a very minimum security features okay but right now you can see uh, as the technology proceed ahead we came up with a better security system and still sometimes we can get, get hack so no contract is safe even those alter those those who will audit the contract they will say that they have audited the contract but they can't tell you the hundred percently that it's fully safe because no one can say that no one can say that so there is a tons of things goes into the smart contract auditing whatever i have mentioned in this video so far if you follow all of these things definitely you can become a good smart contract developer and if i talk about the opportunity you will get as a smart contract auditor if you search on google like bounty smart contract auditing you will find bunch of companies exist and many companies are looking for a smart contract auditor because right now we have smart contract developer but we don't have a smart contract auditor who can simply audit who can work in the field of research in the auditing research in the security research so there is a high demand in that area if you go to this bug bounty exercises you will find there is a lot of smart contract and if you become a good smart contract audit developer you can definitely try to find out the bugs even they have given the smart contract you they are telling you to come and simply manipulate the entire smart contract so if you manipulate you will get rewarded so that's the huge opportunity you have in this so these are the couple of steps which you have to follow and definitely i'll talk about in details about in this entire security course where we're going to focus about all the topics which we have covered so far we'll talk about the tools the technology and the things we can utilize it so there is a bunch of tools we have like slater we have like the name is quite difficult to pronounce for the time being that's the only thing i want to cover i don't want to extend this video unnecessarily long definitely we're going to have detailed discussion about all the security protocol all the smart contract security section and what are the things you have to learn to become a smart contract security expert and auditor so that's the thing is going to be coming very soon i'll try to complete this score very quickly and we'll have one or two video in a day and we'll focus on one topic i don't want to explain too many things in one single video the video will be close to 10 minutes or 8 minutes long and that will try to explain as detail as i can about the particular software or the function we have utilizing the way we are documenting the entire contract okay so hope this entire thing makes sense to all of you guys and if you still have any confusion any doubt do let me know in the comment section i really want to know that how many of you are really interested in this course how many of you are really want to become a smart contract auditor because you are so fascinated about the smart contract development smart contract dab development but i want you to take interest in the field of auditing because when you become a good in the field of auditing you are already good with a smart contract you are already know how the blockchain work you already know how evm work you already know that how the transaction get flow so you almost cover every single thing and now you are taking to the next level of your understanding okay now you are ready to take your skill to the next level by focusing on the security part of the blockchain and the security part of the smart contract so do let me know how many of you are excited about this course and how many of you have subscribed to that the blockchain coder i do want your support in that channel go and subscribe i see that you guys have 
seen eight, eight close to 300 people have watched my video but only six six 60 people have subscribed to the channel i don't know why many of you have done that please do support it's your channel that will motivate me a lot something i have started new i just want your support because without your support it's not possible so do let me know how many of you are excited about this course how many of you have subscribed i really want to know all of you guys so with that i'm ending this video hope you guys have liked this video if you still have any confusion any doubt do let me know in the comment section i'll try to help you in that for the time being that's it have a wonderful day bye bye